hi guys it's me Vonnie welcome back to my channel ascending Raven so today I got the witch's moon I was not expecting this until Tuesday that's what the tracking on the USPS um, website said that I was getting it on Tuesday but that was the same as the witch's roots yesterday and I got that one yesterday even though it said it was like due until Tuesday so I'm not complaining okay so, like I always say, have not peaked. I have not um, cheated. I don't know what the theme is. I don't know anything. But what I will say is, there's something noisy in here. I'm kind of excited. Okay. This is what it looks like. Oh, well, that fell out. Okay. A siren of spirits, um, of ringing balls, of ringing bells. I bet you that's a bell in there. And whispered rites of symbols, old and new alike. I call upon my nearest guides. I claim the space on this sacred night. Um, this is really pretty. So pretty. Okay. And then, witch's bell. It's, I bet you those are bells that I'm hearing. I hear the bells. Oh, I hear the bells. Okay. I already see things that is just, oh my God, I don't know what it is. I see a big giant box. Gonna wait on that. Okay. So here we go. And it's like so jam-packed in there. Look at this. Like they they had to shove this in there. As thin as this is, that's how jam-packed it is. I'll just show you. Okay. So, our well, my oracle is the universal midwife birth. Um, the birth, fruitful, and sacred assignments. Um is this not beautiful holy cow um i need to know what deck this is from because whatever deck this is i need and not only do i need it but i need it for my etsy shop okay so the witch's call Let's see if I can read this because I'm wearing my contacts today. We'll see. Okay. These are moments that exist through, throughout each day where we demand control, call upon guides, and cast out negative and unwanted energies. These practices are so vital during times of overabsorption, chaos, and polarization. Our dedication to the craft provides us with the unique opportunity to maintain and regulate the energies that are allowed to enter our sacred spaces and ritual areas. Within this power, we are creators and destroyers, choosing our own path and connecting with its purpose on a more intimate and meaningful level. In this very special collection, we provide tools that are unique in their ability to aid and empower us during ritual. This one-of-a-kind box has been in the process of creation for many moons and is exclusive to subscribers of the Witch's Moon. Okay. And then it goes on to, you know, what we, what's in the box. And, you know, I'm not going to get into that because I like to be surprised. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm not going to go with that big box just yet. Okay. We're going to go with our Herbies. Okay, so the first herby we get is flax seed. Um, I think that's something that pretty much is easy to obtain. But it doesn't hurt that we get it in this box because it saves us from going out on a trip to the grocery store and getting it. Fever few. Uh, I don't know what this is unless it has another name to it. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm curious. And Angelica Root. Angelica Root, um, has another name to it. 
I have it though in my apothecary and I can't remember what the other name is. Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Angelica root. A multifunctional plant, Angelica root aids in some of the most common spells and rituals used today. Angelica root is a wonderful ingredient to include within herbal incense blend to rid your area of evil and negative spirits. Before beginning your rituals and spells, Angelica root has also been recommended to include within your bath to remove hexes or curses that may that may linger near planetary connections, sun elemental connection, fire, gender is masculine, um, external, and ritual use only. Oh, la, 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 la. I don't want to read all the other stuff. I want to, but I'm kind of like I'm seeing other things in here that I don't want to see. Okay, so then we have this thing. Oh, these are salts. Pulse of Peace, Sacred Salt. Pulse of Peace. Um, can we just say how much I love this jar? In the camera, it almost looks like a perp, like a brown, but this is like, I think, unless my lighting is wrong, which it could be because I have a purple light behind me, but this looks like a maroony to me, like a maroony color. Let's see. Can you see that? Can you smell it? Can you smell it? What is this scent? It smells like, almost like candy. Oh, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh my God. Okay, there's. Oh my God, that smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. Oh, I'm dropping it. Don't drop it, Bonnie. Don't drop it, Bonnie. What's wrong with you? Drops. Okay. Then we have, I'm going to assume this is our oil. Um, um, um. Okay, I can't see this. It's like, it's either Aris, Aphris. You know, their font is kind of crazy. I don't know. Can you see that? Can you see it? Let me see. I'm just going to have to look because I don't know. I can't read it with their font. Okay, Aegis, Magical Anointing Oil. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intentions of providing you with the token of strength, courage, and protection as you travel into spiritual realms. The Aegis was commonly referred to as a shield carried by Athena, born from within the passion of battle. It is said that this shield remains ageless and immortal and carried with it great magical properties. As you anoint candles, ritual tools, or create tinctures, visualize a wondrous shield of protection guarding you from any level of disruption that may have ill intent Oh my God, I love that idea. We have enchanted this magical oil with frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood oils, and I have included clover, ground sage, lavender buds, and hyssop as well. Uh, inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personally, one to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special, a special mixture of our great roar magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. The base of this oil is sunflower oil. Some might be more sensitive than others when in contact with skin. Okay, so this is something um, similar to the witch's roots, um, which is the prowess of courage. Wait, yeah, I think that's what it was called. Um, which I'm in love with that box. Um, watch my other videos. I just did that one yesterday, I think. Let's see what this smells like. Which that oil, literally like it spoke to me. And this kind of is similar to that. So I'm assuming and I think I'm going to use both of them together. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God, it smells really good. I can't pinpoint the scent. 
but it smells good. Oh, that smells really good. And I'm definitely, I think I'm going to use those together. Um, and I'm going to make some kind of strength, courage spell, ritual, whatever you want to call it. Okay, here's our candle. And our candle is black. Um, okay. There's no herbies or anything on it. It's just a black candle. Which I think is... It smells like the incense, I think. Because it smells really good. And I can't imagine that it would smell like... Like they would put a scent in this, but let's see. Um, power and protection spell candle. We have hand rolled this spell candle with the intentions of enhancing the magic that flows through you and your sacred space. The energetic properties that have been placed within this candle were carefully selected to create a barrier between your rituals and those and those that wish to disturb it. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may speak words clearly out loud, enhancing your intention intentional energy. As the flame from this candle dances before you, take the time to clear your thoughts and ease your emotions. We have enchanted this candle with the oils of frankincense and myrrh. If you're unable to use the candle holder, and if you're unable to use a candle holder that might fit this candle, place over a plate offering dish in which you would like burn your candle. Placing this flame to the bottom of the candle, allow the uh, the wax to form a puddle. Uh, yeah, you guys know that too. Adhere to a thing. They scented it with oil, the frankincense and myrrh. You can definitely smell smell it. It. I think I'll use this candle. I think I, I think this is the one that I'm going to use for protection, and then the little yellow one for um, courage or strength. That's what I'm going to do. I sure am. Okay. Then we have this little sachet that I fill a stone in here. Hematai, 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 hematai magnetic uh i like using hematite for um money i don't see this on here oh hematite tumbled stone to facilitate to facilitate union between you and your spirit guides we have included tumbled hematite to accompany you on your path in addition to spirit communication we commonly use hematite to assist us in turning our intentions into physical and spiritual manifestations hematite can also be stored with your divination divin, divinatory tools to enhance their ability to communicate messages and signs to you throughout your practice use hematite to assist you through breath work or times of needed meditation and grounding. Um, so this is where I do my readings. It's gonna go right there and it's gonna stay there. Okay, then we have our incense. Oh. Oh. That smells like the salt. Oh. Okay. I didn't read about the salt. Okay. Pulse of Peace Salt. This sacred salt was created with the intention of aligning yourself with the energies of peace and tranquility before ritual work. As you sit with these natural energies, practice letting go of your worldly problems, focusing on the very simple beat of your heart. Work with the silent in all manners of being, knowing that you are still that you are sealed and silent to all incoming attacks of confusion and of despair. These practices allow us to connect to divine energies. 
We have enchanted this sacred salt with cedarwood, chamomile oils, as well as clover, chamomile, and plantain herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our regeneration magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery on the um, in making these this sacred salt. Um, if bath is unavailable, steep bath salt in a boil in a bowl of warm water and wash over skin to benefit from the energies. And that I will have to use. Um, that smells really good. And honestly, if I could take a bath in this stuff, I would. But um, to just like wash your body, like just get a bowl of water and um, wash your body or, you know, your face. And I always kind of wash like my shoulders, like when I'm cleansing myself, my shoulders. I don't know why to me it feels like you know how when um when you know how that's how the saying goes it feels like a weight is lifted off your shoulders that's just kind of like how i feel like when negative energy comes over you like it settles like on your shoulders so i always tend to just like okay now last but certainly not least. I bet that's a bell. I hear the bells. And this is like a beautiful satiny box. Oh my goodness. G. Oh my god. I get the chills just holding this. Oh my god. This is like brass. This has some flipping weight on it. This is nothing. This is like this is the shit right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is like seriously like this is, it, it has to be brass. I'm gonna read this and look at this box. It's like a satiny, holy cow. Hold on, I gotta read about this. Okay. Custom Handmade Pentacles Witch Bell. It has been such an honor to work with the creation of the custom bell, relying on intuitive energies and spiritual guides to direct us. The ringing of bells dates back almost 4,000 years, communicating messages over long distances and symbolizing power and status. Commonly said to have begun in ancient China and slowly seeping into the roots of religions such as Buddhism, Hindu, Shinto, Shinto, etc. The bell transitioned into the known tool for communication and slowly started to appear in the creation of transformative music. Very often the bell is associated with the same quant qualities as the Tibet Tibetan singing bowl and can be used for similar purposes. The ringing of great bells still catches the attention of those that are near sparking interest and curiosity. Within the witchcraft, these basic principles of communication still apply, yet work to contact and notify spirits that, that are commonly attracted to those that may be more in tune with the spiritual realm. Although bells have always been on or near our altars, we are always looking to add new vibrations to our collection, providing us with an array of energetic tools that may strike a different essence within each ring. Associated with the divine source of creation, the bell resonates with the goddess and is used to invite these powerful energies into our rituals and sacred spaces. Calling upon the elements, watchers and spirit guides are only a small part of the many uses of the sacred bell. A very programmable tool, the witch's bell is used to clear away negative energies by demanding that the space around you be pure and relevant to your intentions. The ringing of the bell can also call upon angels, spirit guides, 
and ethereal energies and other en energies that you may wish to assist you in your work and spiritual development. Most importantly with the witch's bell is your tool to communicate a message and exclaim your true purpose to those that may be that may be seen on the physical realm or within the hidden realms that exist around you. Sitting stop sitting atop the handle of this bell is the representation of the great talons providing reassurance of safe passage as well as the symbolizing of achievement of success through your intentional workings. In addition to the talons we have included the pinnacle on the front of this bell symbolizing power and protection as well as recognizing as recognized as one of the most relevant and meaningful symbols in the spirit work and communication as with in any energetic tool we rec we, rec we recommend taking your time while working to familiarize yourself with its properties and attributes oh my goddess I swear. See here are the talons. The pinnacle. This is brass, people. It's brass. Oh my god. The witch's moon kicked ass this month. Oh my god. With the box from the witch's roots. And this box with this bell, that is really going to be hard to top any other box. Any other box. I just got the witch's box in today too, and that box is flipping huge. And because this was the smaller box, I was like, I'm going to get the smaller box out of the way. So I recorded this one first. Um, witch's box, you got a, a lot to top here. Okay, so let's go over everything because this is truly insane. Like, holy cow. Okay. All right. So first and foremost, we got this incredible bell. We got our Book of Shadow artwork. And this tells about, all the, you know, the bells and all of that. Look at that. It was right before my face and I didn't even see that. That's that's the bell. And it was like right when you open the box. Okay. We have Angelica Root. We have Feverfew. Flaxseed. Our beautiful incense. Our hematite that I'm going to cleanse and keep right here with all my tarot decks, our sacred salt, our uh, Aries oil that I'm going to use uh, along with that, with our, I rolled it all up, our black candle. That smells really good. Um, yeah, this box is the shit. I don't think I will ever stop getting this box. Okay. All right, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Um, and I will say this. Every once in a while, every couple of months, um, the Witch's Moon on Instagram will, will um, post that they have extra boxes available. Um, if they do post that this month they have an extra box, it probably won't be. They probably won't post it till next month. But they do post it on Instagram. Um, I'm grabbing another one of these just as a gift um, and j just because this bell is that beautiful and all these other things like that are I'm grabbing another one if they do have extras I'm grabbing an, an extra box all right guys let me know what you guys think don't forget like and subscribe keep an eye out for the witches roots that I posted yesterday um, and I am going to take a picture of this as my um, thumbnail for this video. And then I'm going to unbox the witch's box. I kind of wish that I would have waited for this one. I wish I would have done that one first. Because this one's going to be hard to top. Alright guys. 
Talk to you later. Let me know. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Leave me comments. Talk to you later. Bye.